In order to create original content for Netflix, you are required to use a cinema camera that has been approved by them. The reason for this is to ensure certain quality. However, it's worth noting that any camera can produce high quality footage, so you should not allow a list to dictate your camera purchase. We've featured many affordable approved cameras in our previous videos. In this video, we're going to suggest to you the best five Netflix approved cameras that you can get for below $10,000. Stay till the end to find out the most affordable one. First, we have the FX9 camera. Designed with professional-grade features, such as XLR audio inputs and long battery life, that are typical in traditional video cameras. Additionally, it incorporates technology from Sony's Alpha Mirrorless series including a full-frame sensor and hybrid autofocus. The camera is able to perform exceptionally well in low-light conditions, thanks to its dual-native ISO sensor and Sony's advanced color science based on its Venice motion picture camera. Although the FX9 has a 6K sensor, it downsamples the signal to C4K and doesn't offer internal RAW recording. It can record up to DCI 4K internally, at either 30fps in full frame or at 60fps with a small crop, and combined with the XDCA FX9 unit, the camera can produce 180fps in 4K full frame or 120fps in 4K or HD with a Super 35 crop. One of the standout features of the FX9 is its full metal body, which makes it durable in harsh environments as well as its exceptional color production. The camera's custom and CineL settings deliver striking hues that enhance the quality of the footage. The Canon EOS C500 Mark II is a modular cinema camera that takes technology from Canon's mirrorless EOS R series and incorporates it into a professional cinema device. It has a 5.9K full-frame 35mm sensor that can capture high-quality footage in 12-bit cinema raw light or 4K 10-bit 4x2x2XF AVC to memory cards. The camera features dual-pixel CMOS autofocus and in-body image stabilization, but image stabilization doesn't work when recording in RAW. Although it has a maximum frame rate of 120 FPS with a substantial crop, it isn't ideal for capturing fast-moving action shots. With an impressive 13.1 stops of dynamic range and a rolling shutter of only 15.8 milliseconds, the EOS C500 Mark II is capable of capturing high-quality footage even in low-light situations. Moreover, the camera can produce usable footage when underexposed by up to five stops, especially when noise reduction is applied in post-production. For a cinema camera with cinema raw light, the EOS C500 Mark II is an excellent choice, offering great dynamic range and features. Up next, Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 12K is the latest entry to the elite club of Netflix-approved cameras, which is already known for its exceptional image quality, now has an OLPF model that incorporates a high-performance optical low-pass filter to its 12K Super 35 image sensor. The purpose of the OLPF is to reduce unwanted effects such as moir and aliasing while maintaining the quality and color of the image. The Ursa Mini Pro 12K has an interchangeable PL lens mount at the front that can be used with a variety of professional cine lenses from different manufacturers. It features a 12K Super 35 sensor and a claimed dynamic range of 14 stops and a new color science that includes Blackmagic RAW. It can shoot at 60 FPS in 12K with 80 megapixels per frame, and oversampling from 12K gives 8K and 4K images. The camera's sensor design is unique in that it has equal numbers of red, green, and blue pixels which allows for various resolutions to be selected while maintaining the full Super 35 frame size. Considering the price, it's one of the most affordable cinema cameras that can record 12K full frame. Canon's newly approved cinema camera, EOS R5C, is one of the best cameras in the below $5,000 segment. The Canon EOS R5C has a body that is similar to the R5, but it is thicker and bulkier because it has an additional fan at the back for better cooling. Unlike the R5, the R5C can record in 8K 60fps and also allows for slow motion recording in 8K, even in Canon's 12-bit cinema raw light format. However, the R5C does not have IBIS, as it has been removed to prevent sensor heat buildup. 
Instead, there's a digital stabilization option that crops to 1.1x and stabilizes the image with IS lenses. The Canon EOS R5C allows shooting in various configurations, including RAW HQ, RAW ST, RAW LT, HDMI RAW, and XF AVC YCC 422 10-bit, aside from 12-bit RAW HDR. The camera can also capture 45 megapixel still images. That's why it's considered a hybrid or a dual camera, as it has a split personality in a positive way. It is a professional-grade cinema EOS device that can handle both video and still photography. And last but not least, the Lumix BGH-1 camera is an affordable option that is approved by Netflix. It is easy to use and transport and comes with advanced technology to ensure high-quality footage. The camera has a 10.2 megapixel live MOS sensor with dual native ISO technology, which helps minimize noise. It also allows for 10-bit C4K at 60fps internal video recording with pre-installed VLogL and has a VFR feature for slow motion footage. The camera has a new heat dispersion structure and can record unlimited video, so there are no concerns about running out of recording time. The camera also offers features like Power over Ethernet Plus and PoE Plus for easy installations and control of up to 12 cameras with a Lumix Tether for multi-camera. It has multiple outputs like USB-C 3.1, Type-C, 3G SDI, HDMI Type-A terminal, and Genlock in timecode in and out functions for multi-angle synchronized video recording. The Lumix BGH-1 is suitable for both professional filmmakers and beginners, and it can help inspire creativity and take your work to the next level. So this was our list of the five best affordable Netflix-approved cameras part three. Check out our previous videos for more affordable options. Do you have other models in your mind? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.